marketers, like salespeople, suffer from negative stereotyping. When you think about someone who's good at marketing a business, you may picture an entertainer, a show-off who loves attracting attention to themselves. You may also associate marketing with boasting. We've all been exposed to advertising that makes extravagant claims about a product or service, and we've all been turned off by it. Such stereotypes, if they were ever true, are now outdated. Today, effective marketing doesn't rely on showboating or bragging. In fact, authenticity and transparency have become the new watchwords among modern marketing professionals. This is great news for you and your emerging brand. As you think about putting yourself and your company out there, choose marketing activities that feel authentic to you that allow you to express your brand identity in ways that feel true to who you are and what you believe. Are you an extrovert who finds it easy to meet new people? Then work with that strength by attending networking events or calling on prospective clients. But if you're an introvert, you also have plenty of marketing opportunities. Use your excellent listening skills to conduct in-depth customer discovery conversations. Invite prospective customers to share their frustrations and aspirations. All you have to do is sit back, listen, and take notes. Are you a person who loves to get creative? If so, marketing should give you a chance to express yourself in inventive ways. But if you're more of an analytical type, don't despair. Effective marketing depends on consistency and on carefully tracking what works and doesn't work so you can adjust as necessary. Your preference for data and logic will stand you in good stead, especially if you decide to engage in digital marketing. Are you achievement focused? If so, then try gamifying your marketing activities. Set yourself quotas and reward yourself when you meet them. Or maybe you're more of a helper type. If that's the case, then guess what? Marketing should be your forte. Marketing is essentially the process through which you offer help for free. Think about how you could use a blog or newsletter, for instance, to give your target audience high value information that will help them reach their goals. Whatever your personality, there's a way to leverage your strengths and embrace marketing activities in a way that feels true to who you and your company are. The key is to leverage your skills and interests. For instance, are you a writer or an English major who loves to read fiction? Consider starting a blog, a newsletter, or maybe authoring an ebook. Are you a drama student? What about using your voice to create podcasts or creating a series of videos for the social media platform where your target customers are most likely to hang out? Are you a natural teacher? How about creating an online course related to the product or service you're selling? or giving free in-person workshops? Do you love research? Consider how you might share book or product reviews with your audience. Do you love meeting new people at business events? Then how about checking out the events calendars for the Chambers of Commerce in Sackville, Moncton, and Amherst? Do you love creating your product or service? Then how about giving away a free sample? The Sackville Farmer's Market might be a great place to do that. As your business grows, you'll probably want to engage in a variety of marketing activities, but don't worry about your marketing mix, the full range of activities for now. Pick one activity you can start with and plan to test that approach for a certain length of time. Then you can evaluate how successful you've been and adapt accordingly. As you consider various ways to tackle marketing in your business, check out the worksheet, My Marketing Strengths. It should give you some fun ideas for starting to raise awareness about your brand.